Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Intumath's 5th grade, Module 11, Lesson 4. Let's start off by going over the I can objective. So I can represent division of a unit fraction by a whole number using visual fraction models and equations. And the learning objective is to represent division of a unit fraction by a whole number by using visual models and equations. The prior learning is that students multiplied fractions by whole numbers using visual models and equations, and students solved word problems involving multiplication of a fraction by a whole number. So if we move into lesson four on page 279, we have a step it out word problem number one that says Darsha has three days to read half of a book. She plans to read an equal amount each day. So how much of the book Will Darsha, will Darsha read each day? All right, so she has half a book. She has three days to read it. How much of the book does she need to read each day? So for A, it says model the situation with an equation. Let T represent how much of the book Darsha will read each day. So that T is on the opposite side of the equal sign. It's going to be equal to T. So this is where most students always get mixed up. Which number comes first, the three or the half, right? So you always have to ask yourself, what am I splitting up? What's my dividend? What's being divided? Am I dividing up my three days? Because that number comes first in the word problem, but it doesn't mean it comes first in the equation. Not necessarily. We need to make sure. So am I splitting up my three days or am I splitting up my book? Oh, I'm splitting up my book into sections. Because you look at the question, it says, how much of the book will Darsha, will Darsha read each day? So it's the book that I'm dividing. So whatever the number with the book is related to, that's the number that comes first. That's my half. So my half comes first. My half of the book is being divided into three sections so I know how much to read each day. That's my divisor. So my half is being divided into three, and then it said put it equal to t. All right, for b, what part of the division equation represents the part of the book that Darsh will, Darsha will have to read? So what's the book? Is that the dividend, the divisor, or the quotient? The part of the book that she has to read, the half of the book, is our dividend. That's what we started with. And then what part of the division equation represents the number of days? She has three days that she has to read the book. That's our divisor. That's what we're dividing it by. So it says represent the situation with a visual fraction model. Now we get to draw it out. So if I had, let's say, a big rectangle for my book and I cut it in half, Right? I have to read half my book. I have three days to do it. So the other way, I'm going to just separate it by three. So here is my book separated into equal sections. How much is going to be read each day? That would be one of the total amount. So that would be one of the six parts that are available. So for E, what part of the whole book does each equal part represent? Well, we just said one-sixth. And then second question, how much of the book does Darsha read each day? Well, she reads one-sixth of the book. So one-sixth and then one-sixth of the book. All right, moving on to the next page on page 280. This one's a long one. There's lots of steps, but it's all related to the number line. So for two, it says Darsha has one third of her math homework left to complete. If it takes her four minutes to finish it, how much of her math homework does Darsha complete each minute? So I had one third of my math homework, four minutes to finish. How much did I finish each minute? So for E, write an equation that models the situation. Make sure you get that first number as the dividend, the total, what's being divided. That's the number first, and then the second number is the parts that you're dividing it into. For B, you have a number line that's split in from zero to one. Then you have all of those bullet points relating back to your number line. 
So what does the length zero to one on the number line represent? Draw tick marks to represent the dividend. Which section of the number line represents the dividend? Shade in the section to represent the dividend. Draw tick marks to represent the divisor. How many equal lengths do you have? Repeat the division of the equal lengths on the entire number line. How many are there? What does the size of each equal length represent? And then circle the quotient on the number line. So you're marking up your number line, you're shading, and you're circling. It's just telling you step by step what the number line should look like at the end. And then for C, our last one, how much of our homework does Darshia complete each minute? All right, go ahead and work through all of these problems and then come back and we'll solve them together. Go ahead and hit pause here. All right, great work. Awesome job. Let's go through this. So for A, write an equation that models the situation. So remember, I have one third and I have four. Was it the four minutes that I'm splitting up or was it the one third for homework that she's splitting up? Because remember, look at the question. How much of her math homework does Darsha complete each minute? You can usually go back to the question. What is it asking? That's the dividend. So I start with my one third and I divide it by the four minutes. Now, it says represent the equation on the number line. We know that we only need one third, yet the number line gives us one whole. So there's gonna be a lot of actioning happening from the zero to one third. That's okay. So remember that third tick mark is my one. So I'm just separating it into one third, two third, and then our three thirds will be our one. Right, one third, two third, and one whole. So what does the length from zero to one on the number line represent? So from zero to one, not from zero to one third, zero to one, that's all of her homework, right? That's the entirety of the entire math lesson or math homework. So that's all the homework. But we are just focusing on the one third for this problem. So now it says draw tick marks to represent the dividend on the number line from zero to one. So that's my one third and my two third. I already did that. So go ahead and check. Which section of the number line represents the dividend? Remember, we just need the zero to one third. That's the only part that we are focusing on for right now. That's our dividend, her amount of math homework. Then it says shade in the section to represent the dividend. From, so from zero to one third, shade it in. Just make it a little bit darker. So I'm just going to go ahead and go over it a couple times. Here is the portion we are talking about right there. All right, so shade in that section. Done. Draw tick marks to represent the divisor. So remember, the divisor is four. So now I need four sections between zero and one third, four sections between one third and two third, and then four sections between two thirds and one. So again, going to do this in a different color. So I have one, two, three, and remember that fourth one is going to be landing on our already tick mark of one third. Then we need one, two, three, and four one, two, three, and four. And they're a little bit off on spacing. That's okay. All right, so done with that. How many equal lengths do you have? Well, if I counted, I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. So I have 12 equal marks. So now it says, repeat the division of equal lengths on the entire number line. How many are there? Well, again, I have, well, I already did that. So how many are there? There are 12. Now, what does the size of each equal length represent? That's what we're looking for in the problem. So in the, in the tiny blue section from zero to the first blue mark, what does that one tiny section represent in our word problem? Well, if she had a third of her homework, remember, and she's cutting it into four minutes, that's how much homework she solved in one minute. Out of her entire homework, how much is that? If we have 12 parts, 
You're right. It would be one twelfth. That's our quotient. So one twelfth of total homework. And then it says circle the quotient on the number line. So can you identify what the quotient is? If it's one half, can we circle it? That's the zero to the first blue mark. That is just looking for a circle right here. All right, and then for our last question, how much of her homework does Darsha complete each minute? Each minute she gets one twelfth of her homework, and I'm just gonna put slash a minute. All right, great job. Go ahead and finish up the rest of your problems on these pages, and I'll see you back here for module 11, lesson five.